What's up guys my name is Manthan Mishra and today we are going to a God Sunday Fetti Even I am so much excited to visit this place after watching this video. So, Dr. Derek Montero, who works with me in my hotel, recommended me to visit this place on Sunday. So today was today is Sunday, and I thought, why shouldn't I explore this and make my Sunday interesting? So let's go. And I have arrived to the place Fort Jail Museum. and where we are having a guard sunday fetti so this is the view and that is the entrance from where we will get the tickets to uh, get into it and you can see how much the rush is everyone is interested in visiting this place so at the entrance this is the entrance where you will be finding you where you have to get a ticket which will cost you around 200 rupees and there are different different rates and if you would like to have a tour guide or a storyteller then you have to pay 300 extra so i have taken the storyteller i have hired a storyteller let's see how it will go lower part of fort aguada okay known as aguada jail okay and this fort has served since jail since portuguese rule and portuguese rule goa for 451 years so whatever happened in goa was looked by the portuguese monarchy but that portuguese monarchy was overthrown and a republic was formed so the prime minister was the one who looked over goa but that prime minister soon became the dictator of portugal okay. and he converted this fort into a jail to imprison his political opponents oh perfect and after getting the amazing intro you can see there we have so many statues also which have their different different stories and here i have found the van junglers even they were so much like active they were so much joyful and even they were sharing a very positive vibe i literally liked it now let's head towards the fetti for which we have like come So over there I have found so many interesting shop even they were selling cheesecake and different different types of cake which were very fresh even I tried one and it was very tasty over there they were selling clothes and shakes and so many sweets and so many things even they were selling a painting made up of coffee like they have painted it from coffee and you can see there was a stage and they were dancing and playing music serenaders and all it was perfect now listen to this lady she is telling a What very interesting natural fact natural spring natural spring like so it, it is a spring so there's a upper fort okay so this fort is divided into two sections upper fort as well as the lower fort okay. so the upper fort was used as a water tank water harvesting okay re water harvesting okay and that water was released through this spring so it flows throughout the year So let me give you a quick summary that it is a natural spring which runs 24/7 and it is having a very big water tank which collects water from the water or like rain so known as a rain water harvesting so this is the reason why the fort aguada has come into its existence aguada like it is a combination of two words agua means water and da means provider so it is the fort which provide water to all the travelers so the traveler the, sh the shipmen come over here and collect the water and they continue their travel and all so this is the reason behind it the fort aguada aguada name and just beside of it we are having a small shrine and this is the entrance of the main jail which we have and this are the uh, you know benches where the prisoners would meet Prisoner, prisoners meet prisoners meet their families oh wow and that way is also same Okay, so this is the prison. 
Yeah, the way seen. Okay, so the balak cards will come from here. Oh. Can I ring it up? Okay, not at all. So now you can see this is a wonderful uh, house, for, like having lights and all. So these are the officials, like officers' office, where they sit and they discuss all the things, where they have the paperwork and the history and what are the things which they have to do with the prisoner and all. And I was so much interested about knowing those barrels which they have kept. So let's see what Harsha will tell. These are cannons. Okay. Also introduced to us by the Portuguese. So okay. When the Portuguese came to Goa. They came with double deck ships filled with cannons. These cannons. These cannons, yeah. So they are made up of iron. Okay. Also the iron, uh, ball, fireball. Okay. And how we how we lit it is you know we put a sack of uh, gunpowder from the front as well as the ball. Okay. Both are the same size, and you put some powder over here, gunpowder. You put a wick. And you know, fire it. Oh. And you also put a, earlier there used to be a rope here so that the cannon does not come back with the force. Okay. Yeah. And what is this sign denotes? So this is the coat of arms of the viceroy who was in service. Yeah. Back then. Like approximately what time? Like ex uh, approximately. Sixteenth century. Sixteenth century. Yeah. And we also have the company over here. Company, which was from UK. Okay. okay. Now they have a different name. You can be that because you want it. These people they know you. Share you. You like. Okay. This is the 69th one. Yeah. And how many were there? There were 79 cannons, including the upper fort as well as the lower. And you see the starting point from there till the ending point. This fort had you know cannons lined up. And here we have arrived to the main entrance of the prison where the prisoners was used to get tortured. So at the entrance of the jail itself, you can see these are the names written on the wall who have got present over here. So these are the name of the prisoners which we like which they kept over there. And even she will tell you a very interesting story. Please listen it. Sharda Savalkar. Okay. She was just a 16-year-old girl who was imprisoned over here okay, on the suspicion of killing the local sympathizer of Salazar. And she was tortured and beaten for two years before being presented against the judge. And when she was presented against the judge, you know, she called out to the cruelty of the feared police officer who had tortured her, who was Kasmero Montero. And that police officer said, either you accept your crimes or rot in jail. But she didn't buckle up and, uh, you know, she carried on whatever she was saying. And later he was, she was back, came, she was transferred here back. She didn't go anywhere. She was not released. But on a lucky twist, there was a release order for Shada Shirvaika. But, you know, she was released instead of her because the police officers got their name confused. And after going out, she participated in the Goa's freedom struggle and also did not marry. She had died with Sharda Savaitya. I hope you have liked the story. So let's head towards to the main quarters which they had for their prisoners. First Indian. Civilian. Civilian, okay. Yeah. To get arrested and imprisoned over here. And we also had formed a Goa National, a Goa Congress Committee to lead the Goa's revolution. So he was very interesting person. And he was originally kept in the Kal Kotri, but you know his influence caused a lot of motivation to the people, so he had to be deported to the Portugal. But sadly, he passed away in 1959 and Goa was liberated in 1961, so just two years before. Oh. But, but he was a part of uh, Freedom Struggle. And what it is? So these are the mm, solitary confinement cells, like dark den cells. So whenever the people did something to trigger, uh, 
the soldiers, they would keep them over here. And earlier there were no tiles, okay? They were just mud and no toilets at all. Oh. And you see how hot it is in the I agree. So it was like a... Suffocation and all. So there were so many chambers over there and even she told me that at that time they do not have this uh, windows otherwise it would have become a very VIP sea view villas. <laughs> And she mentioned that that I should have a picture over here because many all the visitors take the pictures at this place. Whereas the down part was used by the soldiers and the prisoners. What are the kind of repairs? So we'll go down as well. Okay. So we are the high rankers. <laughs> Even they are having a very nice interactive session like vis visual experience where they show all the history and all amazing amazing things which an individual can experience and get to know about the things. Sorry? So this is history the people because of this. Wow. Yeah, they have written. Wow. And this is the hot oven which they use to make buns and breads. And even Harsha told me a very interesting fact about the buns and wines. If you would like to know about it, then you have to visit this place. And after watching this, so I am now hungry. So at the second entrance of the jail, you will be finding a perfect shore where you'll be finding a perfect food with a perfect view. And after spending a perfect evening, I had made new friends and I had a cup of tea with them. So let's head towards to the main fun and the music festival they had. So let's have a look. Are you watching closely? 